Okay, so today we're going to be changing the fuel oil filter on my Wow McLean WTGO-4 uh, boiler. Um, I already actually drained the fuel filter um, just to get an idea of what filter was already in there and how dirty it was. So that's actually already drained, but <clears throat> if you're doing this at home, this is your fuel shutoff knob. Make sure that you back this off until you can flick it with your finger and it will move freely. Or you can feel that that stem's not moving anymore up and down in the valve. <clears throat> Once you do that, grab your wrench. Go ahead and loosen that bowl up. Take the bolt out. Now I've actually been in this house for a couple years now and uh, haven't gotten around to changing this. And when I looked at it, you can see, first of all, it's that one of those rayon filters. And this is supposed to be white. So definitely in need of a change. So I'll dump, dump that in, that fuel oil into the bowl. And my bucket right there. Put that in there for a minute. I actually did a little bit of research. Uh, it sounds like the original filters were actually these wool filters. So I'm going to try a wool filter and see how that goes. So you can see my shutoff valve isn't working great. It's leaking a little bit. That's why you got the bucket. Um, my kit also comes with two seals. One's for the bolt. So you got the bolt seal. And then the bowl seal. So the bolt seal's right here. And I'll actually just take that off. We'll put the new one right there. And then on the bowl, there's my old gasket. Make sure you change the gasket. Okay. So we got that in there. We'll put the new filter in. And then we'll go ahead and install this with the new bolt. It's probably gonna squish down quite a bit. Smooth that up, should be good. Let's uh, turn this back on, see if it worked. Just check for any leaks, pretty much. Turn that vent bolt a little bit, just to let some fuel oil fill that bowl. Now I actually got fuel oil filling this bowl real quick, so I change that gasket out before that bowl fills up, and then we'll be good. And there it goes, flowing freely now. So I'm plug that back up. And more air bubbles, tighten that up. Don't have the right size wrench, so we're gonna make it work. Got the new gasket in the vent bolt. And then I'm gonna clean that up with paper towel and when it comes to um, winter time again, I'll just have to prime the pump um, over with this little pepcock right there. And then we'll be up and running. Okay, thanks for watching.